News from Old Woman Josie out near the car lot. She reports that the angels have gathered in a circle in her living room, blocking her view of the television. They are shoulder to shoulder, facing each other, radiant with holy light. The bowling alley, they are chanting. The bowling alley. She says that a repeat of the West Wing she had really hoped to watch is on, and she is quite annoyed by her usually considerate, angelic house guests. More on this story, maybe, if there ever is more. And finally, some good news. All wheat and wheat byproducts have mysteriously vanished from Night Vale. And the city council promises that they will be gone forever. This scourge, this siege upon us, this salvo of food-based warfare is finally over. Nevermore will we be threatened in our homes by this enemy or its byproducts. We also will never eat bread again, and that's a pretty big bummer. But this is the balance that must be made between what we desire and what we fear, between pain and pleasure, between wheat, dear listeners, and its byproducts. Many of you are huddled now and forever in the quarantine behind the playground in Mission Grove Park. For this community-minded sacrifice, we thank you. I know you were forced there by martial law, but still, you should be commended for your brave action. Terminal quarantine might seem scary now, but I understand they have a well-stocked supply of canned lentils and the silver screen edition of Trivial Pursuit. And of course, you have the radio. I hope you will let my dulcet voice and our humble community station into your ears and hearts until your final wheat-loving breath. Dear listeners, stay tuned next for a live broadcast of a man locked in a recording booth, silently staring at the microphone with intense suspicion. And as always, since always, and for always, good night, Night Vale. Good night. <laughs>